hello welcome back to indigo smokes tarot and astrology i am doing a uh, collective reading for the taurus collective taurus sun moon rising venus north and south nodes anyone who is taurus dominant this reading could resonate for you um i'm trying out new questions this time around and starting off i've already shuffled these cards cleansed these cards um half of the deck has already been reversed so we're just going to jump right into it uh what is the overall message and guidance for the taurus collective taurus sun moon rising venus north and south nodes divine ancestors and guardian angels of the collective what is the overall message and guidance for taurus what is the overall message and guidance of this reading for taurus All right, we have the Hierophant in the reverse, which is your energy, and we have the Queen of Wands. So, um, Taurus, you could maybe be needing to... Hmm, I feel like this may be a split message. I feel like you could be needing to break away from what you normally do, which is a challenge for most Tauruses because Taurus is a fixed sign, and it likes what is known, what is familiar. It likes its comfort zone. It's very much attached to it, but I'm feel like, feeling like maybe there's something that you have outgrown and you could be needing to break away from whatever that is. So you could maybe be needing to do things differently. You could be needing to take on a different mentality, take on a different path in life. Um, overall, just doing something different, something bold, something that is maybe unlike what you normally do or who you normally are. Um, that could be something that you're needing to do. That could be a space that you're already in mentally, emotionally, physically, even for some of you. But I'm feeling like you need to do something different from what you normally do or be a different way or embrace a different path, a different mentality, a different structure. It just this feels like reinvention energy. OK, um, outside of that, for those of you, maybe this is more of a split message. I am seeing an energy of you maybe being thrown off balance or just being very rigid and stuck in your ways. OK, so for some of you, this could just be you being in a more shadow or lower vibrational um, aspect of your Taurus energy where once again you're rigid and you're too stuck on the old way um, that could be something that you're needing to pay attention to right now but I feel like a lot of you are maybe needing to reinvent needing to reinvent yourself or wanting to um, some of you may be experiencing like squares as far as like the transits because you know we do have like Saturn and Aquarius we do have a lot of Aquarius energy going on so um, that squaring certain Taurus placements that you may have may be forcing you into a new way of thinking, being, doing, or, um, yeah, just reinventing you or making you desire to reinvent yourself in some way, shape or form. So take that as it resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Anyways, if you see me looking over here, it's because I have the questions on my phone. So that's the overall energy. And what is, what energetic space is Taurus in currently? What energetic space is Taurus in? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Nodes. What energetic space is Taurus in? What energetic space is Taurus in? All right, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Why is the Page of Swords here in the reverse for the energetic space of Taurus? Okay. So I feel like there's something that you are not happy with. This is this is an emotional matter. This is a personal matter. Um, this could be in regards to like a lack of clarity. This could be in regards to something being confusing. This could be in regards to maybe some dishonesty or some drama that is going on um, within one or multiple of your personal relationships. Um, the reverse ten of cups to me it talks about it can talk about emotional dysfunction, emotional uh, drama in regards to your personal relationships, um, your dreams kind of being uh, attacked or shattered or just you know trouble in paradise, trouble in home, trouble in relationships. I'm I'm seeing that as an, an energy here, or you just feeling very much upset about something you could be feeling this way about a child this is a page energy this could just be um, someone in your energy that is very immature um and thus it's causing you to feel a certain level of you know emotional disruption emotional unhappiness and etc but i'm going to ask a couple more questions maybe it will become more clear um what or why is taurus feeling this way with the reverse page of swords ten of cups 
Why is Taurus feeling this way? Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse with the reverse page of swords. Why is Taurus feeling this way? Right, we have judgment and we have the reverse to a pinnacle. So something here could kind of just be overwhelming to you. Um, the reverse to a pinnacle's energy for me is just where maybe you've bitten off more than you can chew or you're unable to find your balance in regards to multiple things going on in your life. So as you know, the two of pinnacles is a card of juggling and with it go, when it goes into the reverse, it's talking about no longer having that balance, no longer being able to juggle multiple things at one time and kind of being overwhelmed in regards to having to do that and, and being able to find that balance. And so uh, with the judgment being here as um, the major arcana is just like once again with that reverse hierophant being a part of the overall energy, it's just like things are coming to a point where maybe you're needing to evaluate what you're going to continue to hold on to maybe needing to reevaluate what it is that makes you happy reevaluating you know certain things that you're used to or that you've maybe outgrown um judgment always talks about reevaluating how things have played out up until this point reevaluating how you're going to move forward making sound judgment calls about certain situations in your life or being at a certain juncture in your life once again where you have to turn over a new leaf and step away from things that maybe you've outgrown so once again that could be a theme for a lot of Tauruses at this time um mm -mm, what energy is on the horizon what energy is on the horizon? Wait. Also, um, no. If if that theme continues to show itself, then I'll say. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give that interpretation right now. Never mind. What energy is on the horizon for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. So, what energy is on the horizon for Taurus dominant individuals? What's on the horizon for the Taurus collective? four of wands so even though the cards that are reflecting your your energetic space as of right now is the reverse page of swords reverse ten of cups which is for some of you this could be you once again taurus energy likes its comfort zone it likes what it knows what it's used to it likes for things to stay the same it gets a lot of stability and, sec stability and security out of that and it looks like there could be some things going on that are kind of forcing you to reevaluate those things or to break away from those things or to deal with those things in a new way basically to reinvent yourself and how you could be responding to that for some of you could be very <laughs> you know childlike maybe throwing temper tantrums or maybe just being overwhelmed by it and very unhappy about this but with the four of wands being here for the energy that's on the horizon that talks about celebration it talks about security it talks about happiness it talks about stability so i do feel like um whether this is a new situation a new energy that you'll be stepping into or whether this is once again you just reinventing yourself and how you are dealing with the person how you're dealing with the situation how you're dealing with life i do feel like even though it's uncomfortable for you right now even though you may be feeling the need to like act out against that even though you know this change or whatever this energy is could be making you very unhappy or emotionally unfulfilled right now i do feel like with this four of wands energy being here that you do have things worthy of celebration, worthy of happiness on the horizon, okay? The Four of Wands is a very good omen, okay? It talks about being in a very stable period, being in a very happy period, and maybe even, once again, having something to literally celebrate. Um, for some of you, maybe this could even be a new home, relocating, um, having an addition to the family, um, establishing a new relationship or reconciling. Um, it's going to play out different for some of you, but... The four wands is good energy to have on the horizon, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, what is this four wands energy on the horizon for Taurus? Can you tell me a little bit more about this four wands? Four of wands that's on the horizon for Taurus. The five of swords. Once again, whatever this person is, whatever the situation is. 
think earlier I said like trouble in paradise. There's just there's some maybe some challenges that you're going to have to deal with or that you're dealing with right now. But since I'm clarifying the horizon energy, I do feel like with this four of wands, yes, things will be happy, but there's going to be some challenges that maybe you have to overcome um, before things really, really settle down. OK. We also have the Ten of Pentacles here at the bottom, which talks about long term stability, long term security, you know generational type of type of energy but yeah there may be some hurdles that you have to tackle first before you can really get comfortable in that newfound happiness or that new environment or that new home or that new relationship or in that new phase of a relationship there's going to be some things that you have to work out before you can really get comfortable in your new whatever this is What's going on in the subconscious? What's going on subconsciously for Taurus and dominant individuals? What's going on subconsciously for Taurus? I think we have our Six of Cups. So, um, which is once again, this is maturing, this is evolving, this is moving away from childish ways, this is moving away from, you know maybe long-standing situations living arrangements relationships maturing evolving growing up and for some of you maybe literally leaving some things in the past like on a physical tangible level but for others of you this could be an internal process where once again you're leaving behind old ways of thinking um being feeling operating and once again evolving into a new version or a reinvented version of yourself which is really dope um what is this reverse six of cups going on subconsciously for Taurus? You know, you could be, um, like I said, with the transits, the Aquarius transits that are going on, you could actually be wanting something new for some of you. Um, but I definitely see a moving on, a moving forward, a maturation, a growth energy that is here. All right, which is cool. Why is this reverse six of cups here for the subconscious energy of Taurus. Why is the reverse six of cups here for the subconscious energy of Taurus? Empress. Okay, so you are showing up in the upright, which I really, really like. But definitely, this is you. I really feel like this is you stepping into a new way of being, you being very bold about it, you being very confident about it. Um... This just really feels like a new phase, to be honest. I like that, you know, the hierophant in the reverse is the overall energy, but I like that you showed up in the center of your reading in the upright. So I do feel like, you know, the obstacles you've been dealing with, or maybe a few of the ones that are on the horizon for you, I do feel like you're going to be able to tackle those. I do feel like they're going to change you for the better. Um, and I do feel like you're going to come out of this better than you thought or better than you expected. So that's really good. What is, what does Taurus fear in regards to this energy, this situation? What does Taurus fear? What does the Taurus collective fear in regards to this energy or situation? Show me the fear of Taurus in regards to whatever the situation or energy is for them. For some of you, this is literally like maybe starting a new career path. For some of you, this is starting a new spiritual path. For some of you, this is, you know, uh, taking on new titles, new hats, maybe becoming a mother for some of you, maybe doing something very creative with your energy, maybe stepping into a period of a lot of stability or abundance and prosperity. It's going to be different, but that's the kind of energy that I'm seeing here. Um, what does Taurus fear in regards to whatever this energy or situation is for them? Ooh. <laughs> um, I, I, I feel like this is you fearing the worst, fearing being trapped, <laughs> uh, fearing not being able to maneuver your way through this situation, through this relationship, through this phase of your life. I do feel like you could be doubting yourself in some regards. You could be stuck in your head in some regards. Libra kind of got a little bit of this energy too. So that could just be something that, you know, you Venus signs are dealing with. But I don't know why I'm thinking the wor your worst fear is like fear itself, but Eight of Swords is trapped in your mind energy, 
um, feeling helpless, feeling unsure, feeling unsure of what to do, how to navigate, and just fearing like the worst and letting it keep you like paralyzed. But ultimately, this is a card about feeling trapped. So I do feel like you fear that in some way, shape, or form. What does Taurus want in regards to this situation or energy? What does Taurus want and desire in regards to this situation or energy? <laughs> um, for some of you... Oh, wow. Okay, so for some of you, this is like a new relationship where maybe you'll be making things like super duper official, like marriage, that type of thing. For others of you, this could be you leaving a relationship. Okay, uh, for some of you, this is you leaving one relationship and then you have another one on the horizon. For others of you, um, you could be wanting to mend a certain, a certain relationship because we have justice here. We have the four of wands here, horizon energy, and then what you want, you want kind of like what you deserve you want what's right you want things to be balanced you want things to be fair um obviously you want things to work out in your favor but the justice card when it, it can talk about making things official it can talk about marriage but ultimately it talks about you want what you feel you deserve karmically okay um and also back to the reverse page of swords which i said can talk about dishonesty along with this five of swords energy on the horizon you could also be wanting truth which is also similar to what libra had so yeah there's that so you want what's right you want what you feel you karmically deserve legally deserve you want fairness you want balance you want truth okay so for some of you this is like i said you're breaking away from a relationship a marriage um, that could be what's causing this reverse ten of cups energy as far as how you're feeling. Uh, so for some of you, you're leaving that behind. For some of you, you're mending that. Um, and things are, whether this is an old relationship that you're mending or this is a new relationship coming in. Like I said, I do feel like you're going to have your hurdles to deal with. But I do feel like things ultimately will work out in your favor for the most part. Because we have your the Empress and the Justice and the Upright, which I like. We have the Four of Wands, which I like. We have Judgment and the Upright, which I like. So... I like this energy. Um, what is Taurus expecting out of this situation? What is Taurus expecting out of this situation? Yeah, once again, I feel like you're probably expecting or fearing the worst. You're fearing things not um, working out as you planned, as you desire. Um, you could be expecting an outcome that leaves you emotionally sad or unstable. So you could be feeling like you're going to get more of this reverse page of swords, ten of cups, and reverse energy. What's the next step for Taurus? Reverse king of swords. Okay. Libra got this card too, and I cleansed this deck. I put all the cards in the upright and reshuffled, so... Yeah, that's very interesting. You could be dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, I'm seeing strong air energy here, though. Aquarius, which he was talking about in Libra. So with the King of Swords in the reverse, to me, this is somebody who can have a very cold demeanor. Um, they can come off very insensitive or abrasive. Um, if not that, this person can come off very weak-willed or this person could just be dishonest. They, they're not really good at communicating effectively communicating honestly um maybe this person is very insensitive or selfish the next step with the reverse king of swords is just it's kind of like a fed up kind of energy to be honest the reverse hold on The Reverse King of Swords can be definitely an energy that's, um, if it's not being weak-willed, passive, it's an energy that is just, it can be very impatient, very irrational, and um, in cutting things out, you know, so this could be an energy of you getting fed up with someone, or this could be an energy of you being on the receiving end of someone who's just, you know, very hard to work with, talk to, come to solutions with, um, why is there a reverse king of swords here as the next step for Taurus?
Yeah, you could be cutting ties with whatever this situation or person is due to the previous qualities that I stated of the reverse king of swords, whether that's someone passive and weak will, whether that's someone dishonest, whether that's someone who's insensitive or cold, breaking away from that, getting fed up with a certain person or a certain situation, cutting it out. What's the likely outcome of this energy or situation for Taurus? The nine of pentacles. Okay, self-sufficiency, independence, once again, stability. Um, I'm seeing like financially things being good, home life being good. I'm seeing a lot of stability on a, on a tangible level. Um, Nine of Pentacles talks about independence. It can talk about being single. So for some of you, you will be embracing that and that could be something that's totally new for you. Um, a lot of Taurus um, dominant individuals, they do like to be in relationships. Um, so that could be a part of like the new phase or the new cycle or the new way of being that you're stepping into is that some of you could be embracing your independence, embracing being single. Um, for those of you where you are still in a relationship, maybe you will become more, you know, independent in regards to how you deal or operate within that connection. So maybe if you always do things with, you know, your partner, maybe you'll start doing more things on your own. Um, carving out your own identity, kind of being more of your own person, if that's something that maybe you haven't done up until this point. I do see that that is here as like a possibility, but on a material level, financial level, I see stability. I see things becoming better as far as home, possibly having a new home um, or having a new connection on the horizon. Or once again, this could be for some of you who where you're not leaving a relationship entering a new phase in regards to that relationship okay but this feels like new identity type of thing okay um any additional guidance for taurus any additional guidance or advice for taurus yeah so there's um a new perspective is needed here and also there could be a need to release a situation a person a mentality an old way of being once again that's the continuous theme of reinvention surrendering independence doing things different than how you normally do which i feel like is going to be very good for you you just it'll be a, a kind of a bumpy period of you getting used to that and transitioning into this new phase new version of you and etc but um, like I said, ultimately, there's going to be some things you have to sacrifice and there's definitely going to have to be a new perspective that you take moving forward. OK. Whatever this new flow is, I'm definitely seeing don't resist it. Try and just go with it. OK. Why is the hangman here as the additional guidance for Taurus? Yeah. Be patient, which you should be good at. <laughs> um, be patient with this process. Be open to new ideas, new solutions, new, once again, ways of being and doing things. Um, new relationship dynamics. Just be open. Try and go with the flow. Try and see things from a new perspective. Uh, for those of you where maybe you are more... Um, where you're you know out of a long-term relationship try to embrace your independence for a little while before you jump into another one you know different things like that just whatever it is you normally do be open to doing things different or being a different way it just feels like something new is trying to happen here okay um do we have any more insights for taurus yeah, stepping into a new experience, like. Any more guidance for Taurus? Any more guidance for Taurus? You are highly thought of. Okay. That's good. Dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion, dark hair. Okay. Don't really know what that means. Any more 
more advice, insights for Taurus. Oh, you tried it. So way too many cards. Coins, money will be coming to you. Like I said, it looks like things on a material financial level will be improving, um, solidifying, stabilizing if they're not already. Any more insights for Taurus? I'm seeing reconciliation here. So like I said, some of you will be like reconciling with a friend, with a lover. And um, the relationship is probably going to go through a few more bumps, but it'll stabilize and you guys will have a new rhythm most likely. Um, I do feel like with this reconciliation, in order for things to work, a new dynamic has to be embraced. You can't go back to the exact same old way of how you operated in the relationship or what the relationship dynamic was like i said nine of pentacles here whether you're single or whether you're just stepping into more independence um within your relationship you'll ultimately know what that is but i do see reconciliation here okay dragon be aware of self-delusion financial pinch news of a birth or a new business opportunity so like i said with that emperor some of you could be coming in having a new title um, wearing new hats in regards to becoming a mom or stepping into a creative role, stepping into a more independent role, um, stepping into a new business opportunity. That is definitely there. We have stork here. OK, so this is a birth card for me. So like I said, you could be birthing a new version of yourself, a new um, career or creative path, um, literally giving birth to a person. It's going to resonate differently and needing to prepare for that because we do have lobster here. So just trying to make sure that, you know, your Taurus nature of being indulgent doesn't overdo things. But yes. All right. Inhales obstacles to be overcome. So I think that's more of that like five of swords energy where there's going to be some challenges, some conflicts, a little bit of negativity that you may have to work through. But ultimately, I do see that things settle as long as you're willing to... <laughs> do things a little bit different you know just embrace the new a little bit more than what you're naturally inclined to do all right closing do we have any more insights any more messages advice guidance for taurus sun moon rising venus north and south nodes Any more messages, guidance, advice for Taurus? Strategy, planning, logic, crossroads. Like I said, this is a different juncture for you with that judgment card, feeling torn, having a lot of having to, you know, deal with maybe some change or a new direction or a decision that you don't really want to because it's out of your comfort zone. Um, that's the theme here. So like I said, I just feel like you're at a certain juncture of your life or maybe you're reevaluating everything up to this point or you're needing to reevaluate how you want to move forward, all of that. We have self-care here. Definitely with that Empress being at the center, I like that it's in the upright, but definitely take care of yourself. Just don't become overly indulgent. We have psychic energy here. So also the Queen of Wands, the Empress, that's very, obviously that's very feminine energy. So... Um, like I said, you could be tapping into, you know, some of your creativity. You could be tapping into, you know, spiritual gifts that you may have. You know, that could be where um, that could be the change. You know, maybe, for example, maybe some of you weren't really religious or weren't really spiritual, but you're realizing that you have certain spiritual gifts or creative gifts. And it's once again, it's kind of a reinvention of sorts. That's that's new territory for you. So for that, for some of you, you could definitely be um realizing some more of your spiritual or creative gifts and abilities and definitely nurture that side of you take care of yourself take care of your energy um for those of you where you know you're pregnant or you're gonna become pregnant congratulations definitely prepare for that obviously and like i said this is really good energy i'm saying that um other than the person the the difficult person that this reverse king of swords can be i'm ultimately seeing that you will most likely be your biggest obstacle just in how much you resist this process so
beware of that. We have stream of consciousness here. So like I said, spiritual downloads, intuitive downloads, realizing some new things about yourself that you weren't aware of before and thus having to step into a new way of being, having to step into a new cycle, wearing a new hat. I say try your best to be open to it and embrace it. The hangman energy here is also Pisces energy, which can also talk about psychic energy. So I do feel like a lot of you could be realizing some of those gifts that you may have. Congratulations with that. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Taurus, I hope that this resonated. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that it gave you some perspective, some guidance, some help. I hope that it, you know, helped you on an emotional, spiritual level. Um, I appreciate you for watching. Let me know what you think. And I will see you sooner rather than later in my next video. Thank you. Mwah.